Okay, student. Welcome to this video. This is lecture number twenty-eight. Already twenty-seven are lecture covered. The solution of the supplemental problem of the vector analysis book by Emma Spiegel. Okay, you all you all know that this book is very important for physics as well as for mathematics honors, and this is the important book for IIT JAM examination also. That's why we decide to solve the supplementary problem of this book. In this video, we want to solve the supplementary problem four point eight five to four point eight eight. Of the chapter four, which consists gradient divergence and curve. Go to the question 4.85. This question says that the a vector is this is not sinusoidal and b vector is a sinusoidal. You know, for sin uh, vector a vector a for a vector sinusoidal divergence will be zero. So we check the divergence of a. Then divergence of a is nothing but the del del x of the 2x square plus 8xy square z. Plus del del y of 3x cube y minus 3xy plus del del z of uh, there is a minus so we can write here is a minus sign 4y square z square plus 2x cube z okay so if we derive it with respect to x this will be 4x and this will be 8y square z with respect to y so this will be 3x cube and with respect to y this is minus 3x and with respect to z this is nothing but so 8y squared z and with respect to z this is 2x cube so you can say these are not equals to 0 so this is not sinusoidal so a is not a is not solenoidal solenoidal for in case of b divergence of b we can write del del x of coefficient of b is nothing but x y square into a a means x x y z square into a a means 2 x square plus 8 x y square z okay plus del del y of so we need to just multiply this one okay that's okay so del del y of x y z square that into 3 x q y minus 3 x y minus del del z of del del z of x y z square into 4 y square z square plus 2 x q z okay so if we multiply simply uh, with res if we take this is a multiplication so with respect to derivative this is one so y z square into 2 x square plus 8 x y square z and then x y z square with this one this is 4 x plus 8 y square z then with respect to y we can say x z square into 3x cube y minus 3xy and then we take this two term <coughs> so xy z square and with this term this is nothing but the this is nothing but the 3x cube minus 3x and with respect to z this is minus 2xyz multiplied by 4y squared z square plus 2x cube z and then minus xyz square and derivative of this is nothing but the 8y squared z plus 2x cube and you can solve this is uh, 4x minus x that is x 3x cube minus x is x cube and 8a squared z 8y square z this will be cancel out okay so from common this part x y z square we can say x is q plus x and the rest part you will give to x square y z square plus 8 x y q z q from here you can see this is 3x to the power 4 y z square and this will be minus 3 x square y 
z square from 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 here we can see this is minus 8 x y q z q minus 4 x to the power 4 y z square okay uh, so this is nothing but the x to the power 4 y z square plus x square y z square and all this thing okay this is can be written as so this can be written as like that and you can see this will be uh, will be 0 x to the power 4 y there is this is 1 and 3 this 1 and 3 becomes 4 this this 1 and 3 becomes 4 and this 4 cancel out so this 4 are can cancel out x square y z square x square y z square x square y z square so this is 3 and this is minus 3 this will be 0 and 8 this will be 0 so this becomes 0 so b is solenoidal okay go to the next question find the most general differential function f of r such that this is a solenoidal for for solenoidal you know divergence of f of r must be zero so divergence of uh, f of r dr function or uh, divergence sorry divergence of a vector will be zero for solenoidal for solenoidal so we can write equals to zero using formula this is nothing but f of r dot r plus divergence of r into f of r this will be zero uh sorry okay so this is nothing but a prime r and r vector by r dot r plus this is 3 f of r equals to 0 so this is nothing by r square by r so this will be r a prime r equals to th minus 3 of r, f of r a prime means d dr of f of r equals to minus 3 by r f of r so this is nothing but d of f of r d of f of r by f of r equals to minus 3 dr by r so this is ln f of r is equals to minus 3 ln r taking the constant ln c so f of r is nothing but c r to the power minus 3 or c by r cube is the function f of r such that this f, uh, f of r r will be solenoidal clear go to the next question so that the vector fictitious is sing field sing field are divergence uh, of external field the you need to find out the divergence so what is the value of divergence of v vector so this is nothing but the del del x of coefficient of x a i cap that is x by root under x square plus y square Similarly, follows del del y of coefficient of that is y root under x square plus y square. So this becomes minus 1 by root under x square plus y square, and the derivative of this is, is a minus half. So this will be plus half minus 1 that is x square plus y square whole to the power 3 by 2, and this x with 2x. Similarly, this will be 1 by root under x square plus y square and minus plus half y to y by root under x square plus y square whole to the power 3 by 2. These two written in the this is x square plus y square minus x square plus y square and these two are taken as 2 to cancel out. So x square plus y square by 
x square plus y square whole to the power 3 by 2. So, this is nothing but root under x square plus y square minus root under x square plus y square and this is nothing but root under x square plus y square. So, we can say this is minus 1 by root under x square plus y square. This minus sign indicate this is a sink field. So, divergence v is less than 0. This is v is sink field. Sink field means this will be inward. Ild. F I L D. So, sink field means this field was inward. This field is v e field is inward. Field is inward field is field direction is inward okay so this is the physical inter interpretation of this result the field of this uh, if we draw the field lines the field lines always inward okay so this always inward field lines is the always inward in this equation go to the next question Suppose u and v is the differential scalar field, prove that this is a solenoidal. Two solenoidal, you need to find out the divergence of this. This is the u cross v. Okay. So, for that, you need to use the identities of the vector identities and the divergence of a cross b. The vector identity of divergence of a cross b you know that <coughs> divergence of a cross b divergence of a cross b is nothing but the b dot curl of a minus a dot curl of b okay so this is b is this dot curl of curl of u minus a this divergence is curl of curl of b b means b and you know the identity r curl of curl of any vector is always zero so this becomes zero this becomes zero so zero multiply you got resultant zero since this is a zero so so cross must be solenoidal solenoidal hence proved okay so this is for today this is all about me and this is my contact details you can contact with me by whatsapp regarding any physics question and this is my youtube channel details you can go to the youtube channel uh, get all the videos uh, you can see this and subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of physics related video share this video to your friend to see also benefit to her thank you take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you